that section. So as you go through this, you're starting off with a circular uh, section, again, finding the center line. In this case, it's a lower center line, so the elliptical shapes are still connected all the way around. Even this a dotted line is just a hidden line showing that piece from the other side. And again, if you find the center, just like the egg-shaped character, there's the triangular shape. And it builds that ear up there. So this is just being extended out, and it's being carried over from this bottom piece when you take a look at the sketches themselves. So this also has a center line of a kind of an organic shape where the nose is going to be just projected out a little bit further from the, from the dog's face. That center line for this piece is where the bottom part, the septum of the nose is, even though it's just a cartoon gives it that highlight. So everything from here, the same idea, the eyebrows are, are echoing the shape of the eye. There is a stripe, a center stripe right down the middle, so that helps with the design of it. A little bit of the hair up at the top, and that establishes the initial, initial section. The eyelid, still another elliptical shape right around it. In this case, they put a little bit of the iris with the pupil. So when it helps define the character a little bit more. So you can kind of pinpoint that in there. And then it has the cheek set up in there. And when you think of the, the mouth, that's the triangle shape that is now dropped down way, way below. You can kind of see it hidden through there. And it's going to arch out like that, right over the top. And that's where the curve of the mouth is going to take over. So when you take a look at it, it becomes a lot <coughs> off of the formula from that initial, initial series of drawings that you've done. And then anything like the tongue shape is going to come out as a flat piece just bent. Find the circular pieces, the center of it. It makes it pretty easy to go. Same with the ear. The ear part's going to be on either side of this as it goes through. <coughs> and if you think of it as a flat piece first, even if it's a rectangle, then you can give it a gesture, a little line that's a line of action, gesture line and let that wrap itself right around there. So it, the folds in the ear, everything that comes up, the part that goes up, just think of it as a rectangular shape just to build the basic shape in there and then everything becomes much more organic from that piece. So you can see as the pencil sketch starts to come, and as it's a light drawing, depending on what your character is going to be, <coughs> based off of that, that theme, that's where you can start to change or modify anything from there. And remember, if it's a body, uh, just kind of create the same idea with the shapes. We'll talk more as we go into it, but just circular shapes for the torso and the pelvis, depending on what that character is going to be doing. And then once you have this, this shape, then you can start to use just a stick figure and then turn those into ovals and then you're back to the circles with the hands, whatever they're doing. But that's the, that's the initial sketch. So it gives you a little bit more to um, take a look at as you're building this together. So see if you can, uh, as your theme or as you're thinking of it, put together the idea that you want to sketch out there.